everyone, I'm going to be showing you how to extract the DNA from a strawberry. So DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, is a molecule that encodes the genetic instructions for your cells to grow, divide, and behave. And which is some materials that you can either find in this DNA extraction kit from Amino Labs or your local grocery store or pharmacy. We can actually separate those cells that make up a strawberry, break open those cells, and look at the DNA inside. So most of the equipment and ingredients we'll need can be found in this kit which includes one tablespoon of distilled or bottled water, one fourth a teaspoon of white salt, one fourth a teaspoon of lysis buffer, which can also be substituted with a shampoo or dish soap that contains EDTA, one paper coffee filter, and a resealable bag. So outside the kit, you'll also need at least 70% isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol, which you can put into this small tube here, a narrow glass, like a shot glass, a small drinking cup, and a strawberry. So the first step is to make a saline solution in this resealable bag. Here we're using a tablespoon of distilled or bottled water, since tap water has salts and impurities that could interfere with the experiment. And now we're gonna add this packet of salt, which has about one fourth of a teaspoon of salt. And this is gonna be used to bind the DNA and help separate it from the other cellular components and molecules in the strawberry. Now we're just gonna seal this and mix it up. Okay, and now for the fun part, we're gonna take this strawberry, which contains millions of individual cells, and break up those cells in the saline solution. So, just gonna remove that. <laughs> Throw it into our saline solution. <laughs> and now, start mashing it up. We want to make sure that we don't have any lumps or clumps after we're done mashing it um, so we can release as much of the DNA from the cells as possible in the next step. This might take a few minutes. Okay, well I think that's good enough. And now we have millions of individual cells that are in suspension in the saline solution. And so while we broke down some of the cell walls just from massaging the strawberry, to break down all of them, we'll need this lysis buffer here. And so this lysis buffer contains surfactants, which are found in most soaps and shampoos, and that's gonna be used to attack and break down the cell walls of these strawberry cells. And so once we release all the contents from the cells, we'll have a lot of DNA that's still bound to proteins by strong, positively charged metal ions. To separate out those ions, we also have EDTA, which stands for ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. And so that molecule really strongly binds to most metal ions, so it'll outcompete those bonds between the proteins and the DNA and allow us to isolate the DNA. Okay, so now we have the DNA separated from the other cellular components. And so to actually filter out the DNA, we're gonna use this coffee filter and place it in this cup here. And so the filter will catch all of the cellular debris and proteins that we've separated out and allow the liquid with the DNA to flow through. Okay. 
So now you can't actually see the DNA in the solution. Okay. So we're gonna pour this into our narrow shot glass. You need about two tablespoons. So now we're gonna pour this solution, which has the strawberry DNA, into the isopropyl alcohol, which will precipitate the DNA out of the solution and allow us to actually see it. Now we'll just mix it. And now you'll actually be able to see the DNA precipitating up the solution, that white cloudy string floating to the top. And that's our DNA. And that's how we get from whole strawberries to DNA.